All right, we'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, also at 6, today marks exactly six months since the mass shooting in the Oregon District claimed nine lives. The University of Dayton is hosting panel discussions today to address gun violence issues. We begin our team coverage of the tragedy in Dayton with 2 News reporter Adam Reif live at UD. I spoke with Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal earlier today. He hopes that this community that's been so affected by gun violence in the past year can break the cycle of inaction. Right now, panel discussion is going on behind me. Chief Beal is part of that. Those panels are trying to break, to figure out new ideas to end that culture of violence in the streets. We need to get past stuck. We need to get meaningful, cogent, balanced to reform. Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal says the conversation about gun reform at the local, state, and federal levels is too often stuck between two polarities with little room for compromise. The chief says gun violence in the United States has been epidemic for decades, even though homicides are down in Dayton. While improvements have been made, and we need to acknowledge that, far too much violence exists, and we need to change that. Chief Beal says he understands the passion on both sides of the gun reform debate, but there are reasonable things that can be done to make it a safer environment for everyone. He adds changes owed to the nine victims and their families. We understand somewhat their pain. We feel it too. Um, and we want to make the changes um, that are required to protect our public and our community moving forward and in some fashion honor that sacrifice. Chief Beal says public safety is a civic duty, saying citizens are required to do their part. The foundational principles of, of modern policing is the, the public of the police and the police of the public. And just police officers just play a very unique role in fulfilling responsibilities that are a requirement of all members of the community. Panelists are taking questions right now. This is the second panel discussion of two today. We've been covering this unique forum all evening long. Coming up tonight at 10 and 11, we'll have a full report on the ideas that come of, have come out of these panel discussions. Live in Dayton, Adam Reif, 2 News, working for you.